Good day everyone! In this video, we will discuss in the antiderivative of trigonometric function. Learning objectives. Let u be the denominator and du is the numerator. Antiderivatives of trigonometric functions can be found exactly as the reverse of derivatives of trigonometric functions. And c represents a constant. This must be included as there are multiple antiderivatives of sine and cosine, all of which only differ by a constant. If the equations are differentiated, the constant becomes zero. For example, number 6, evaluate the integral of sine x minus cosine x dx. Since meron tayong subtraction operation, so pag natin itong dalawa, then we're gonna have the integral sine x dx minus integral of cosine x dx. After this, para makuha natin ang sagot, titingin tayo sa given formula of antiderivatives of trigonometric functions. So the integral of sine x is equal to negative cosine x and the integral of cosine x is equal to sine x. And our final answer is negative cosine x minus sine x plus c. For example, number 7. The integral of second x plus second squared x dx. pag natin sila, so magiging integral second x dx plus the integral second squared x dx. Sa pagkuha ng integral, upang hindi tayo mahirapan, Una muna natin makuha ang integral ng second x. As you can see, ang gagawin natin ay ita times natin ang second x sa given formula nito. Then we're gonna have the integral second x times second x plus tangent x over second x plus tangent x dx. So multiply muna natin ang numerator. So second x times second x and second x times tangent x is equal to the integral Second squared x plus second x tangent x over second x plus tangent x dx. At lagi natin tandaan, may gagamitin tayong substitution. So let u be the denominator. So u is equal to second x plus tangent x. And the numerator will be du. Du is equal to second x plus tangent x plus second squared x dx. So we're gonna follow the integral of du over u and the integral of this is the natural log of the absolute value of u then we just substitute the given u then the answer is equal to ln of the absolute value of second x plus tangent x plus c but that's not our final answer kukunin din natin ang integral ng second squared x so madali na lang siya kunin sa given formulas so, the integral second squared x dx is equal to tangent x plus c. Iko-combine natin ang mga nakuwang sagot. So, our final answer is the natural log of the absolute value of second x plus tangent x plus tangent x plus c. For example, number 8, the integral of 2 cotangent x minus 4 tangent x dx. So, ulit, pag na natin sila. Ang unahin muna natin ang integral ng cotangent. Since wala namang given formulas para sa cotangent natin, we use certain trigonometric identity. So if we are given 2 cotangent x dx, this is equivalent to cosine x over sine x and is equal to 2 integral of cosine x over sine x dx. So again, let u be the denominator so, ang u natin is equal to sine x and the numerator is du is equal to cosine x. Then, we're gonna follow the integral of du over u. So, we're gonna have 2 integral of du over u is equal to 2 natural log of the absolute value of u plus c. Then, substitute the given u. So, ang magiging sagot natin ay 2 natural log of the absolute value of sine x plus c. Pero, hindi pa yan ang final answer natin. Kukunin natin ang integral of 4 tangent x. So, again, gagamit tayo ng, ng substitution at trigonometric identity. So, the equivalent of 4 tangent x is equal to sine over sine x over cosine x. And, ililipat natin ang 4 sa kabila. So, is equal to 4 the integral of sine x over cosine x dx. So, again, let you be the denominator. 
u is equal to cos x, then kukunin natin ang derivative ng cos x. So, ang derivative nito ay negative sin x and du is equal to sin x. So, performing of our substitution, this is equal to 4 integral sin x over u. Then, our dx is already equivalent to negative du over sin x. Then, we can perform our deviation. Sin x divided by sin x is just equal to 1. At ang maiiwan ay for the integral negative du over u. Tapos, ilalabas natin yung negative constant multiple that is negative 1. Doing that, we have the negative 4 integral du over u. So again, the equivalent of du over u is the natural log. So this will become the negative 4 ln of the absolute value of u plus c. Then we're gonna apply the logarithm power. So as we recall, if we're given that with logarithm with certain x raised to m, so ang pwedeng gawing ang exponent ay pwedeng ibaba and i-multiply kay logarithm of x. Ang gagawin natin ay baliktad. May given tayo ng m, ang katabi ng logarithm. Siya yung iaangat natin sa x. Remember, ln is also natural logarithm. Then, ang negative 1 sa labas ng natural logarithm, siyang iaangat natin papasok sa loob. So, is equal to 4 ln, the absolute value of your u, absolute value of u raised to negative 1 plus c. Then, ang value ulit ng u natin ay ang cosine x. So, isa-substitute natin siya. So, we have 4 ln, the absolute value of cosine x raised to negative 1 plus c. Applying the concept of negative exponent, pwede natin kunin ang reciprocal niya. So, it's just equal to 4 ln, the absolute value of 1 over cosine x plus c. Then, finally, 1 over cosine x Applying our identity, so this is equal to second x. So we have 4 ln, the absolute value of second x plus c. So kukumbay natin ang sagot natin. So ang final answer natin ay 2 ln, the absolute value of sin x minus 4 ln, the absolute value of second x plus c. That's our final answer. Example number 9. We have the integral of 1 over second squared x minus 1 over cosine squared x dx. Since my exponent dito, which is yung 2, ang gagawin natin ay parang i-reverse lang natin ba? So, 1 over second x times 1 over second x, then magiging 1 over second squared x. And same din kay 1 over cosecant squared x. 1 over cosecant times by itself. 1 over sine x from our trigonometric equations is cosecant x. And 1 over cosine is second x, kaya naging cosecant x times cosecant x minus second x times second x dx. Kapag minultiply natin sila, magiging cosecant squared x minus second squared x dx. And applying our identity, this will be equal to negative cotangent x minus tangent x plus c. Lastly, example 10. The integral of 2 sin x over 3 cos x dx. Now this given, we can express this as the integral of 2 sin x over 3u times 1 over negative sin x du. We isolate the coefficient which makes it the integral of negative 2 over 3u du. We evaluate the integral kaya magiging negative 2 over 3 integral of 1 over 4 du. We simplify this as negative 2 over 3 times ln, the absolute value of u. Simplify ulit natin ito and add c. Kaya magiging 2 times ln, the absolute value of u, all over 3 plus c. Let u be cosine x. Kaya magiging 2 times ln, the absolute value of cosine x, all over 3 plus c. Yung cosine x, magiging second x siya. Kaya, for the final answer, we have 2 over 3 ln, the absolute value of second x plus c. This is book 4, presenting you our final equation. Life is equal to the integral from birth to death of happiness over time with respect to delta time, which means that life's journey is a balance of joy and sorrow. So remember that happiness is found in embracing the present moment amidst the internal cycle of life and death. Again, this is group 4, going out with the bank.